Hey guys, I'm back with another Penetrol Test 4. In this series, I'm experimenting with a variety of pouring mediums and methods using Penetrol as a cell additive. Today I have an amazing shimmery rainbow acrylic swipe to share with you. I'm using a combination of Floetrol and Amsterdam pouring medium to mix my acrylic paints. This time, I only have Penetrol in the swiping color. So I wanted to play with some glittery shimmery paints this time. I landed on going for a full spectrum rainbow of red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. I chose mica and interference colors that match the color of acrylic that I was using. So for the red mix, I added in interference red. Using interference of the same color of your paint will give the color a boost. Taking the red for example again. Adding interference red to red pigment will cause it to appear even more vivid because it's now reflecting more red light. Once again, I'll leave the colors that I used off to the side here and in the video description in case you missed them. As you can see, I'm using the combination of Floetrol and Amsterdam pouring medium again. This time I have two ounces of Amsterdam to 2.5 ounces of Floetrol. I don't know why exactly, but I cut my camera off before I got the cell activator mixed up. I'm using the same ratio of pouring medium, but to that I added in 8 drops of Penetrol, or about 2 per ounce. Only the black cell activator has Penetrol added in. Once again, I wanted to add that I'm using a mini pipette. I don't know if this has a huge difference in the size of drops added, but I'm sure there is some variation there. If I happen to remember the next time I'm on a supply run, I'll go ahead and pick up some more regular sized pipettes and test them against each other's, just so we can be sure. I'm doing just a basic swipe today. To begin, I lay my colors out in a row down the length of the canvas. I went in the Roy G. Biv order for this one, but play around with different orders depending on the colors you choose. Simply switching the order you lay the paints on the canvas can affect the results of your pour. Since some colors are more transparent than others, pulling them over an opaque paint will give you a different result than pulling an opaque over a transparent. There are dozens of ways you can do a swipe. I'm a big fan of palette knives. I feel they give me a bit more control of the movement. For this pour, I'm using a thin sheet of plastic. A paper towel works perfectly as well. Anything that you can use to move the cell activator color over the remaining colors in one continuous motion will work. You want to try to apply even pressure across the canvas. Don't worry if you don't. If you dip down too low and hit the canvas, just steadily start rising back up while you're still moving. Unless you scraped really hard, the paint will most likely flow back into place as you continue. Most of the time with a swipe, you're going to have enough paint on the canvas to cover up any weird parts that may occur. Swipes have been my go-to for getting cell action for quite some time now. If you've been around for a bit, you probably already know. I love them. They can be elegant, they can be chaotic. Swiping is just a very versatile method for acrylic pouring. I'm pretty in love with how this pour turned out. The area where the red, orange, and yellow meet absolutely glows. It has a pretty wide variety of cell shapes as well. Larger cells in the middle and millions of tinier cells around the edges. I really enjoy using the combination of Floetrol and Amsterdam as a pouring medium mix. I think it's given us the most interesting results so far with the Penetrol test pours. The next combination that I tried might be giving it a run for its money though. In the next couple of videos, I'm going to be sharing my experiments with a combination of Floetrol and Glue All with the Penetrol mixed in. I don't work with glue as a pouring medium very often anymore. I used it fairly often when I first started out pouring, using it in mixes but it's been a few years since I've touched it. After those videos, unless you guys have any suggestions on mixes that you would like to see tested out, 
I'll be doing a final round of tests by thinning with just water and adding in the penetrol. At the end, I'll go ahead and get a side-by-side -side comparison of all the pores so we can see what kind of difference each made. Alright guys, that's going to be it for me today. If you have any questions about this pour, feel free to leave me a comment below. If you haven't already, I would appreciate it if you would take a second to subscribe. I bring a new pour every Tuesday and Friday, so make sure you don't miss out on the next one. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. I'll see you next time. Bye!